Neville Goddard famously said, if you truly internalize the feeling that you have manifested your desire and start believing with your heart and soul that your desire has come true, it will come true in 72 hours or three days. Neville Goddard asserts that this is the natural timing of the universe and it never takes more than three days. However, we see people trying to manifest their desires for months without succeeding. Why? It's because they don't practice the law of assumption effectively. So, do you want to manifest your deepest desires in three days? I got 100% results every time I use this method. You may not notice it, but today, you'll either be healthier or less healthy than yesterday. Your financial situation might change too, making you either richer or poorer, and you won't be the same again. Believe it or not, this method has been embraced by more than a million people worldwide, which is significant in itself. Every day, I receive unbelievable stories about individuals getting raises, selling their homes, experiencing financial miracles, and achieving success beyond their expectations. Today, I want to share this exceptionally powerful technique with you so you can experience financial abundance and prosperity in your life. All I want is for you to keep watching this video till the end, so don't miss any important step because you really need to pay close attention to what I'm going to discuss. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. Well, first and foremost, you need to understand that everything we perceive in the universe is a product of our consciousness. The world itself doesn't exist. Your consciousness gives it shape. If your consciousness were to vanish, everything would disappear. It simply means consciousness creates everything. If you lack awareness of something, we could say that thing doesn't exist for you. In line with Neville's wisdom, everything within our world is a manifestation of our thoughts, beliefs, emotions, and consciousness. Our actions, decisions, and reactions shape our reality. Our choices, decisions, and our actions have a direct impact on the world. The present state of the world is a consequence of our actions. We've constructed this world, shaped it, and transformed it. Our interactions, whether with others, the elements of the world, or the world itself, ripple out to affect the world. Therefore, how we perceive the world and how it appears to us is a result of our consciousness. We bear the responsibility for the contents of our lives. If something doesn't sit right with us, we can change it through our choices, actions, and responses. We have the freedom to respond to life's events, and our responses mold our reality. It means we can confidently state that everything we perceive, experience, or undergo is a reflection of ourselves. If we decide to experience something different, we have the power to make it happen. It is also very important for you to understand that the world and the external elements are, and in fact, illusions. I am a mirage to you, and you are one to me. You are aware of Neville Goddard and watch this video on his teachings because of your consciousness. Therefore, if you see something wrong in this world, it's not that something is wrong out there. Instead, something might be wrong within your own mind. Different practices, situations, behaviors, and circumstances might be favorable to some while disfavored by others due to their own perceptions, belief systems, and consciousness. This is why external realities have no importance. What holds significance is the content within our minds. Our thoughts, consciousness, and imagination are the prime influencers. Everything external to you has been manifested by you. What you perceive doesn't exist. It only exists because of your mind, your ability to imagine, and your consciousness. Your consciousness empowers you to experience, perceive, and observe. It's your consciousness that leads you through pain and happiness. This is why Neville Goddard said that consciousness is the only reality. Only those things exist in the world that you are conscious of. Nothing else exists. Full stop. Neville Goddard referred to this as a mental diet. It shows how we perceive the world and our beliefs about things are direct products of our inner selves. What we've learned about the world and ourselves holds the utmost significance. And naturally, this varies from person to person. Now, I'd like to include one of Neville Goddard's quotes on this mental diet. A person's inner conversations draw their life. As long as the inner dialogue remains unchanged, the individual's life story remains unchanged. This concept is quite straightforward and needs no explanation. Our minds are in a continuous process of receiving input, and it's our minds that construct our reality. The power to decide what we feed our minds with rests squarely upon our shoulders. 
It's a choice between nourishing our minds with positive or negative thoughts, and this choice shapes our reality. Positive thoughts like, I can achieve this, I can attain it, or I will accomplish it, fill our minds, while negative thoughts like, I can't attain it, I can't achieve this, or this is insurmountable, introduce negativity. It's common knowledge that our assumptions mold our reality. What we believe about ourselves becomes our reality. And this principle extends to the people in our lives. If we perceive those around us as polite, they tend to act politely, while if we assume they are stern, their behavior aligns with our beliefs. Thus, Neville Goddard tells us that our assumptions materialize into our reality. So, let's take this chance to create a positive thought and send it to the universe, and trust me, it will do miracles. Let's affirm and write in the comment section. 2024 is a year of wonderful surprises, good decisions, and creative solutions. What we feed our minds determines our reality, the way people around us behave, and everything else present in the world. It hinges on our perception, on how we see things. Our perception determines how things appear to us, whether as good or bad. So, we are the architects of our own lives. Some deliberately create a life of anxiety, depression, financial woes, and poverty, while others create a life of financial freedom, happiness, prosperity, and abundance. It's a matter of choice. What you decide upon becomes your reality. Your reality is not an unalterable circumstance. It can be transformed. Simply opt for a different reality, and that's it. We now understand that what we instill in our minds shapes our reality, and the dialogues we have with ourselves generate this reality. With this knowledge, we have the ability to alter the course of events in the world by merely shifting our thought patterns, modifying our perspective. This shift can enable us to experience what we desire, acquire the things we yearn for, and embody the person we wish to be. Neville Goddard goes as far as to claim that through this approach you can manifest your desires in under three days. In other words, within the third day, you can transform into the person you aspire to be and acquire the things you desire. The goal can be achieved within less than three days, possibly even on the second or first day, but it won't take more than three days. This is a substantial assertion made by Neville Goddard, and it holds true. Thousands of people have manifested their desires using this straightforward technique mentioned. Neville Goddard outlined this method in his books and encouraged everyone to employ it, particularly when seeking to manifest something urgently. Here's what you need to do to manifest your desire within three days. First, clear your mind of all negativity, creating a space free of thoughts. Erasing existing thoughts from your mind may initially seem challenging. The most effective approach is to relax, refrain from engaging emotionally with your thoughts, and hold off on taking any action until you are inspired by a thought. Avoid making decisions based on thought processes, maintaining a neutral and emotionless state. Make sure that you have a crystal clear vision of what you wish to manifest in your life. Is it an individual you're seeking to manifest? Perhaps a job, financial prosperity, or another aspiration? Clarity is vital because you're about to immerse yourself in deep thought and imagination, so having a vivid image of your desire in mind is crucial. Regardless of what your heart yearns for, you must paint a detailed mental picture of it. Understand how it will alter your real-life circumstances, your physical self, your lifestyle, and the emotions that will accompany its manifestation. Once you've achieved this clarity regarding your desire, you can proceed to the next step. This step entails constructing a mental scene that mirrors the situation you anticipate after your desire's realization. If the idea of creating a scene through imagination doesn't appeal to you, you can opt to jot down uplifting thoughts related to your goal or craft positive affirmations. Following this, it's essential to immerse yourself in this created mental scene or your positive thoughts about the desire. You must envision your wish becoming a tangible reality. For instance, if your aim is to manifest a specific person in your life, imagine that you've successfully manifested them, and both of you are living the life you've always envisioned. Immerse yourself in this scenario as if it's unfolding right before your eyes. Truly feel the experience as if it's happening in the present moment, and you are an active participant. If you've written down thoughts or affirmations, recite them to yourself. Affirm your capability to accomplish your desires, your worthiness of the desired. What you want to manifest is your choice. If your goal is a positive manifestation, why not entertain positive thoughts? Let optimism flow into your thoughts regarding your desire. 
When you decide to envision your desire in a positive light and have faith that it will manifest in less than three days, it shall indeed transpire. It's a matter of trusting the process. Everything belongs to you. You can attain it all, as your most fervent desires have already been made manifest. Simply hold unwavering faith in your acquisition. If your intent is to manifest something positive, why not choose to think positively? Start by having positive thoughts about your desires, imaginatively embracing it as yours, and having a firm belief that it will materialize. Thank you for watching this detailed step-by-step -step video. If you found it valuable, kindly share it with friends who love Neville Goddard's teachings. Feel free to share your insights and ideas in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more videos.